Hey guys, let's talk about a secret hidden everyday carry that nobody else is talking about. This is an EDC you're probably gonna wanna adopt yourself and you can add it to all your pants so you can carry hidden force multipliers on your person every day without sacrificing any comfort. How many of us carry personal belongings on a daily basis and conceal carry knives and flashlights and handguns all because we wanna be ready and prepared if the situation arises. This is exactly why I carry several hidden force multipliers on my person every day. And I carry them in two separate custom made hidden pockets. The initial reason for creating these pockets was to carry two hidden handcuff keys in all of my jeans, cargo pants, and even all my shorts. I'll just quickly mention I took a urban escape and evasion course that instills the notion you do not want to be handcuffed against your will. And I'm not talking about law enforcement cuffing you either. I'm talking about some of the many bad actors out there that are willing to do violent harm against who they please. Violent crime is on the rise in most major cities, both nationally and internationally. One thing you can do to protect yourself is make sure you have a means of escape in case the situation ever occurred. So I keep one key in the front in case I'm cuffed from the front. I can reach and grab the key fairly easily. And I also keep one key in the back in case I'm cuffed in the back. We can see how this is very easy access location to grab a key. And if you have two pockets, it won't matter if you're cuffed in the front or the back. What do the pockets look like? Let's take a look at a pair of my jeans and cargo pants so we can see what we're talking about. Here are my 511 jeans and we have the nylon pockets with Velcro sewed in. Most of these pockets are made from black nylon, but you can use any color nylon you want. These are 511 cargo pants. All of these pockets are located in the same positions and every pocket has its own handcuff key. What else can we carry in these pockets? Well, you're only limited by necessity and your creativity. We can carry more valuable items in these pockets than you may initially think. Starting with the metal handcuff keys, I bought these in a 50 piece bulk pack off Amazon. And if you're worried about a metal detector, they do make plastic handcuff keys that are pretty durable. Maybe you wanna carry some small lock picking tools. And there are also a bunch of different additional escape tools like this mini blade saw combo and also a small razor blade in a plastic sheath, or a mini glow stick that could be used as a small emergency light. And you can definitely carry some kind of currency if you're gonna be across state lines, you can fold up a $100 bill. Or if you're traveling internationally, you may wanna carry some gold gram bars that can be used as universal trade items. An SD card will definitely fit in these pockets as well in case you wanna carry some type of files or even family photos or movies. And just think if you're ever in a situation where you had to quote unquote bug out, so to speak, and you only possess what you carry on your person, you may even wanna hide a small sentimental heirloom like a dog tag of a loved one. How do we make these pockets? Let's go over the simple way that we can put these pockets together. You'll need sew on Velcro, both the hook and loop sides. You can typically pick this up on Amazon as well. You'll also need some extra nylon webbing, either from an old nylon belt or an old nylon strap. We're gonna cut the nylon in two and a half inch segments with scissors and then burn the cut ends with a lighter to seal all the nylon frayed ends. The nylon will act as the front of the pocket and then you'll need to cut the same size segments out of the loop of Velcro, which will be the back of the pocket. Then you'll cut a small one inch long thin strip of hook Velcro. The small hook Velcro piece will be sewn onto the nylon separately. This will ensure we have a pocket that we can open and close securely so the items we carry won't ever fall out, even in the laundry. I will mention I've had all these pockets installed in all my pants for about three years now and I have never lost a single handcuff key in the washer or dryer and all the pockets have remained intact as well. And none of the handcuff keys have rusted as of yet because they're made out of chrome metal. Finally, we'll sew the nylon and loop Velcro piece on the three sides to the desired spot on the inside of the pants. Both pockets should be located slightly below the pants line in order to remain concealed. 
Make sure that the front pocket will not be in the way of anything else you might carry in your waistband like a pistol holster. This is why my front pockets are located on the left front side near my left pocket. I personally did not sew all these pockets into my pants as my sewing skills are pretty lacking. So I paid a next door neighbor of mine who is a bit of a seamstress to sew all these pockets in my pants with a sewing machine. Ideally you do want to use a sewing machine as sewing all these pockets by hand is going to take a bit longer. And then make sure you also pick a strong thread for long term durability like a strong nylon or polyester. And also keep in mind you can expand on these pockets. Maybe you want to add more than two or change the size of the pockets or even change the location. Where did the hidden pocket idea come from? Well, as I mentioned, I took a class with Kevin Reeve from On Point Tactical called Urban Escape and Evasion. And on the final day of class, typically we'll usually start the morning with a interrogation kidnapping evolution. So you're probably going to have a bag pulled over your head so you cannot see and then your hands are going to be handcuffed in front of you with real handcuffs. Now as some of you may know already, real handcuffs do hurt as they are steel cuffs and if applied snugly will not feel too good to have on. And I will also add that you feel pretty vulnerable and helpless to have handcuffs on. So the simulation is going to proceed with the instructors mildly punching you in the shoulders and legs and then after you're going to be left alone to escape the handcuffs. Now you are told proactively the day before that you should probably hide some handcuff lock picking items on your person so you can better escape. We weren't allowed to use handcuff keys in the course of, you know, we had to be more creative and hide a handcuff shim or a bobby pin on a person to use as an escape. But after escaping, I definitely, you know, permanently felt that I never want to be left empty handed and handcuffed by a bad actor again.